Hey, hey, John Hope Bryan. I'm with my man Webster Pringle. You guys up, know, people? you guys know him from the series. He's a he's a business owner. So, um, dealing with the uh, economics of slavery, I'm gonna do a whole series on this. Um, and this is not emotional. It's not about you know who did what to whom, or guilt, or shame, or blame, or any of those things. All that stuff's appropriate, by the way. But that's not what I'm dealing with because. You know, the, it's all kind of commentaries on that. Let me just tell you what the reality is and how it affected us. So one of the economics of slavery was diet. So because our diet, because in slavery, uh, we didn't control what we ate because the big man, supposedly the big man, I think he's a small man, the plantation owner, um, control what we ate, what we drank, what we consumed, it's even in education or the lack thereof culture, everything. So what they do, they ate what they considered to be great food, and they threw the, the, the scraps out the backyard, I'm sorry, out the back door, um, from the big house down to wherever we were. Well, they thought that was a sign of either graciousness or disrespect, and one of the things that they did when they did that was, was created a, well, a necessity for us to turn something negative into something positive. So they threw stuff out the backyard that we turned into a delicacy called Hold on. Soul food. You got that, Webster? Yes, sir. Soul food. <laughs> so uh, think about it now. Think about it now, Webster. Let's think about this now. Grits, hog moths, pig's feet, mm -hmm. chicken, fried mm -hmm. chicken, um, mm -hmm. uh, whole cake, made a uh, cake literally sitting in a shovel. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 this, 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 riff, put, put in the comments now. Um, um, I've already said grits, uh, gr collard greens, uh, uh, chitlins, uh, and what do we? And how do we keep this stuff from going bad? Listen now, salt. Hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We put salt on everything, right? Mm -hmm. To keep it in yeah. the sun and whatever, keep it from spoiling. Right. Well, what do we have a problem with now? Salt intake. Yep. What do we have? High blood pressure. Yep. Which is doing what? Killing us. Mm -hmm. And what, what? What's another problem we have? Obesity. Right? We have obesity. Is that right, Webster? That's right. I mean, black folks, I mean, I don't know. Three out of five black people we know are overweight. Yes. And it's it's inflammation. It triggers inflammation. It triggers uh, swelling, which pressures puts pressure on, on your joints. That then creates arthritis. That then creates hypertension and diabetes. diabetes. What, what did Webster, what did you say? Di diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. Um, look. I, I love soul food, right? I still eat my soul. My mother raised us on soul food. But that doesn't mean you should be eating it every day, <laughs> okay? Uh, eat it once a week. Eat it, you know, five times a month, you know, whatever. But don't eat it every day, three times a day. It'll kill you, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's great food, and we've made it cool, but we're throwing all kind of salt. We're throwing all kind of heavy seasons in it. We're throwing in heavy creams. We're throwing in, 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 you know, and all this heavy stuff is just loading down our body. Our body was never meant to, to process it. In fact, it can't process it, which is why we're bloating. Now, I'm no health expert, but my wife is. And, uh, is that right, Webster? True that. Yeah. And, uh, she says 80% of, uh, of staying healthy is diet and 20% is working out. Yeah. I found that to be true, right? You can work all day and all night and never lose a pound. Yeah. Okay. You can, you know, it, it don't matter. You can, you can sweat yourself into oblivion and never lose a pound. You can work, you can walk all day and never lose a pound, right? Uh, but, but you change your diet, the weight will just fall off of you and it'll increase your wellness and your health. So look, uh, eat your soul food, but eat, but, but make your primary diet real food, good food. What do I, what's my, my plan? Nothing processed. I don't eat anything. I try not to eat anything processed now. And then I eat mostly fish, a little bit, a little bit of beef. And when I eat beef, I make sure that it's farm raised, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing processed, and no dairy, uh, and no white sugar. Uh, so I reverse this historic penalty that's been on black folks for 350 years. I hope you love this. This is this is health, wealth. This is financial wellness as well. I want you to live a long life, not just a financially wealthy and rich life. I'm out. Wealth is, by the way, mindset. This is so what we're giving you here. It's mindset. Pass it on. Share this video. Comment. Let me know what you think. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, Webster, this is an important conversation. Very important. We're out. Love and light.